okay today we'll discuss about for each command in splunk okay and also we'll see how this command is different from splunk map commands okay now if you remember in my previous video i have created a little explanation about how map commands work right so there we have discussed like map command is basically a command which runs a search for each and every row of a search result right so suppose if you see here we had let me give you an example what were we have discussed in my previous video we had a tmdb index right where i am indexing all the movie details then i am running this search where I'm MB expand on general IDs because it's a JSON array, so it can a movie can belongs to more than one gener. That's why I'm doing the MB expand. If you want to know more about multi-value fields related functions, you can check out my video on MV fields. Okay, then I am just renaming it to as gener ID and then renaming the id as movie id because this is this is my movie id this id field okay and then after tabling it if you see this point till this point we have this data then we am running a map command where what it is doing for each and every result set here so that's why i have taken just 10 values here just to show you how how it works so I'm what I'm doing I'm running another search here if you see this one okay and this search is what we have created a custom command called get general what it is doing it is basically generating all the general IDs and their corresponding general name if you see till this point I have only my general IDs right so I need to know the general names that's why I am running this command and then I am sending this ID to this search okay just to filtering out and then i am just moving i am just evaluating that movie id and original title other stuff same way i am passing the general id i am passing the movie id as well so map command always gives the results of this whole search only so if you run this one now so what it will do internally it runs that get general custom command so what that do is basically it it connects to the tmdb website it runs that api and then after that whatever search i am running so this general id wise it will be filtered and movie id and original title it will be appended as well so the final result will be with all these details and then my general name will be added extra okay so this is how the map command works so for each and every row i am basically running a search now for each command is basically the opposite of match map command where it runs for each and every columns each and every fields of your result set okay so let's take an example okay now let's say i create some dummy data make results okay and then let's say with eval test one it's my new column let's say 100 test two let's say 200 test three let's say 300 so i have this three columns or three fields in my data right so the for each command as i said it it runs on the columns on the list of columns you are giving okay and it it runs a sub search it's a templated sub search because mostly that sub search will be used to replace the field values okay so i'll show you now and why it is called templated because um, there are certain templates you can use within the search so that you can refer those field values so let us give a very simple example if i say for each so before that I will do I'll now what I'm trying to do is I will access this fields okay single with single command and I'll try to see I'll try to add them okay so now what we'll do is for that I'll create a value called total equals to zero okay then I'll run a command for each okay now let's say my three columns are there like so i'll just give my three columns first test one test two test three okay and then 
this is my sub search right when you run a sub search you have to give a square bracket and inside the square bracket i'll give eval my total equals to total plus so each and every field name so as i have only one command to write so this is the template to access each and every field okay within this double angular brackets you have to give field okay now if i run this one if you see it's creating the total of 600 so it is what it is doing it is looping through all these column values and then adding them up one by one okay so first it is adding 0 to 100 then 100 to 200 then 200 to 300 so now if you see here in for each command you can give the list of column names here like this okay also for each has a option to give a wild character in the column name so if i instead of this giving a long list of column names if my column names have some kind of text which is common among them in this case test is common right and only the it is varying where the last digits right one two and three so if i give test star it the result will be same so, but my my this code will be a little bit concise here right so so this is the very initial use case of for each where you just loop through all the columns and then you can do certain kind of calculations through a templated sub search if you see here right this is the template for ad, for accessing a particular field now let's move on okay now let's say i'll give you another use case if you have column name like this okay some special character inside it okay now or some dot in that case some what you need to do some certain times if you see my eval statement where if you have any kind of special character in my column name i have to wrap it up within the single quotes so that also you can do it over here with these fields okay now test underscore okay with a special character also we can do that now let's move on let's say instead of instead of this creating a new field i want to update this existing fields as well so how i will do it so i'll just move back to my old names okay and then what i'll do is so in for each test star i'll write so i'll just move remove this total column as well now i am just trying to update this existing column let's say these are the second values so i just wanted to convert it to minutes dividing by 60 right so what what i will do is so now in this case my each and every field will be this field value right and that will be the left hand side of this equation like this and then divided by 60 right so that means if you see this field template you can use it at the left hand side as well as an assignment so that so for each test it will be my it will be updating my that field itself because field represent the particular field over there so if i run this one if you see now each and every field it is it has divided by 60. There is another template called match str okay so let us discuss that so to do that what i'll do is i'll just eval so i'll just remove this now let's go back to our original data set now let's say what what this match str template is doing is if i give a for it something like this right some wild carded column names so the wild card portion becomes the value of this match string whatever it is matching suppose if, if i am looping through test one test two and test three and i have given test star that means when it is in the first field the one the value one is becoming the value of match str when it is moving to the second field the value two which is matching with this wildcard star right is becoming the value of match str so let's say let's say i am creating a new field called new underscore match str and that those templates you can use anywhere so m-a-t-c-h-s-t-r okay match str let's say field plus so plus the match str 
so what i am trying to do here is so let's say if i have a test one so it will create a value new field called new underscore one because one is the match stair portion then it will take the value of test one that means 100 and add this match stair portion let's say one hundred and one. so let's run this so if you see it created three new field new underscore one new underscore two and new underscore three corresponding to test one test two and test three and it has added with this values with matches tier values that's why 100 plus 1 because 1 is matching with this star that wild carded portion okay so this is the use of matches tier uh, now this wild carded portion has uh, another use case like where you can use this wild carded portion more than one time let's say i have column name something like this test one seed one test 2 seed 2 test 3 seed 3 okay now if i say give for each test star seed star okay now what will be the value of match tier if you just look through it test 1 then 1 is matching and after seed again star that means 1 is matching one is matching that means for each and every field only the numeric portion will be matched that means for the first field the match str value will be one after one that means 11 if you see now if i run this one if you see the new field has been created with 11 22 33 and correspondingly 11 is added to 100 22 is added to 200 33 added to 300 okay this is how match str works okay now let's say i have something like this mm, test uh, foo one another one okay double one double two and let's say this is if double three okay now if i give something like this if double three so if you see now uh, for sorry not f double if double o star okay so if you see now it is now one 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 two 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 three 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 similar way okay so what what whatever portion it is matching it is extracting those value and assigning to this match str template now this leads to another one called match segment okay and match segment is the occurrence of this match tier value so instead of this one instead of match tier if i say match segment one that means it will match it will match only the first occurrence that means this it will match only with this one first star so splunk allows maximum of three segments to access okay so let let's see that Mm, I'll keep this one as it is. Okay, here we will be changing, or we'll be changing in both places. Let's say match segment one. Okay, I'll just copy this one as well here, so that that this column name will also be in sync. If I run this, so what is happening? If you see now, it is only single one because match segment belongs to the first matching and that is one for the first column two for the second column and so on okay now instead of segment one if i give segment two okay now if you see it is similar result so let's do that let's change this portion to five five so that my results will be little bit different five so now what will be my new column name new underscore five if i do that if you see new underscore five is three zero five now if you see it has only single column it has created because i have given the same digit so that's why the same name has been created let's say five six seven now if you see just to show you like it is accessing the second portion of this match string so it is only accessing five six and seven that's why the new field also created similar way right and also adding addition also happened in the similar way one zero five two zero six and three zero seven okay 
now similar way for match segment 3 as well so if i instead of just give i move move this 5 6 7 to third position let's say 8 9 let's say 7 8 9 7 so i'll just give this to 2 and 8 i'll just give this to 3 and 9 okay so now it will be accessing the third portion of this matching portion so that's why match segment 3 match segment 3 so if you see a similar way it is creating 7 new underscore 7 new underscore 8 and new underscore 9 columns and accordingly it is adding value as well so this is how you can use for each command to run a particular uh, particular search and that will be very much templated search okay so that it mainly used for replacing the values of the field creating a new field based on an existing field okay those kind of scenarios for each command is very very useful and you can use different templates like this field match segment match segment different kinds of match segments and match string as well okay see you in next video